ILS TV does not condone drinking and driving. But with the changes to BC's drinking and driving laws, it's critical to understand how drinking affects your blood alcohol concentration, or BAC. Many of you that drink socially are probably wondering how many standard drinks, and by standard we mean 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of hard liquor. Can you consume and not go over the 50 milligram percentage or the .05 level? And what happens if you continue to drink? Will your BAC rise, fall, or will it stay the same? Now remember, everybody's metabolism is different, and these are only general guidelines. For example, let's look at a 180-pound male. This male has no health issues and has the ability to properly metabolize alcohol. If that male has three drinks in one hour, his peak BAC will be at 0.05, with the peak occurring about 40 minutes after he stops drinking. And of course, this may change depending on how much food is eaten to help absorb the alcohol. That being said, this male would limit himself to two drinks in the first hour to avoid passing the limit and build in a bit of a safety factor. His body will eliminate about 0.015 from his BAC each hour. What this means is that this person can keep his BAC at the level of two drinks by drinking a bit more than one drink each hour after the first hour. Any more than that, obviously it will rise, and if he drinks less, it will fall. Now, let's have a look at a woman who weighs 120 pounds and has a glass of wine. Her BAC will be at 0.027, so it's probably in her best interest to stop. If she does continue drinking, she must drink less than one more glass of wine each hour after that to remain at this level. Remember, there is going to be variability in everyone's ability to absorb and eliminate alcohol. So doing these calculations can be problematic. A word of advice would be to stop after one or two depending on your size and your sex. Remember, this is not a scientific study. And again, ILS-TV does not condone drinking and driving.